Hello, and welcome to episode 20 of the Barn Door Restoration. Uh, last episode, I worked on the frame that holds the steering box in place. Uh, this episode, I'm going to cover the, the beam that goes across, ties everything together. So this is the beam that goes across. It just goes between the frame rails. Uh, so the steering box frame uh, welds into it. The master cylinder uh, bolts on the back side. Uh, the accelerator pedal uh, goes in this little bracket. And there's another little tab here that holds the spring, return spring for the accelerator pedal. And then the bracket for the park brake lever. And you can see it's slanted. That's because directly behind it is the shifting lever, which goes straight up. So they made the park brake uh, handle on a slant to avoid it. And these have a, a cap on the end. Now, as far as I could tell, the cap was welded on the same time the frame was welded in. So the frame extends uh, through the side frame rails, and then it's welded from the outside. And the cap is only a 20 gauge steel, whereas this is like 16 gauge. And it looks like they welded it all at the same time. Because it only looked like one bead of weld all the way around, burning everything together. Well, at least that's the way I'm going to do it. Uh, so this, let's see if I can set it in here. This sets in. Goes through these two holes. There we are. And you can see how it sticks out. It sticks out one millimeter past the frame rail. And then the cap is on the outside of that. Uh, but the cap is small enough that you can see the end of this steel all the way around. So we'll be able to build one good bead of weld all the way around that and hold it. There also it's a bracket goes on here that bridges these two together that also welds the inner valance in the front. So I, I built a whole new beam in uh, because this one, I originally made, media blasted it thinking I could save it. But there's a lot of holes rotted through it. Uh, there's a lot of deep pitting in it. And also where the seam is between the two layers, the rust gets in between the two layers and then it swells it. And these spots that are swelled, every one of them I would have had to cut out, clean, and weld back. So it just wasn't worth trying to save this piece of metal. Uh, and it's easy enough to just bend two channels and then spot weld them together. I used a TIG to spot weld them again getting a little better at it. Now, the issue with this one, it had such a narrow lip, it was, I didn't want to burn through on the outside. Uh, so a couple of them burned through on the inside. So I had to take it back with a MIG after and just fill in the hole. So I was able to save the accelerator pedal bracket and tab for the spring and the master cylinder bracket. They were still pretty good. Actually, if you watch some of the video later, you notice I weld on the master cylinder bracket backwards. <laughs> what I was doing, I felt something was wrong, but I just didn't pick up on it. Later, after it was all painted, I realized that uh, I put it on backwards. So I had to switch that. The park brake bracket, the metal, the, the, the metal loop uh, was rotted out. It was hole through, it was too thin, and there's quite a bit of strain on that side to side if you pull on the handle. So I replaced that, but I was able to save the two washers and this little hook piece that comes out here. Uh, the washers are actually put on, they have little divots driven into them. They make bulges on the backside. So when they welded them to the plate, those little bulges welded on. And uh, so I just drilled through the divots and knocked the spot was at the back, cleaned them up. I put them on backwards because the outsides had quite a bit of pitting put them on backwards, and I plug welded those, those holes I drilled out back in. I then went back with a drill and added the divots back in to make it look original. So it looks just like it did before. There's a little bit of trick getting this hook just in the right spot because it's slanted over and, uh, well actually, not the park brake right here. The hook for the ratchet and the park brake hooks under this. I might be able to uh, just slide that in there bit of a trick to it. Let's see. There we go. So when you pull this back, it ratchets on there. The ratchet's hooked under this and the button releases it. And then the two cables hook into this T 
and they go back through and up to the back to the wheels. So you can see how this is slanted. The shifting lever comes straight up here. So it's if you uh, didn't have a slant over, it would actually hit into the shifting lever. Uh, so I guess that's about all for uh, the work I've done for this video. Uh, I did upload the drawings for all these parts to GrabCAD. There's a link in the description. I did manage to pick up a gas tank that's in far better shape than mine. I think around episode three, somewhere there, I removed my old fuel tank. And you can see there's gaping holes on the top. There's no filler spout. It was in terrible shape. It was going to be a nightmare to try and repair. It's probably going to have to build most of it from scratch. Uh, but I managed to get this one for a fair deal. It does need some work. Uh, the end needs a piece to replace. The top is deep pitted. I have to replace the panel on the top. A few other little details. But actually, a fairly easy, uh, easy repair. I'm very happy to get a hold of that. They're not that easy to come by. Uh, some good ones come by once in a while, but they're, they're outside of my budget. <laughs> uh, so it's been a, a year since my first video. Uh, I almost didn't make these videos. I actually made two videos, and I wasn't happy with them. I didn't like the quality. Uh, I had uploaded them to YouTube, but I kept them private. And then one Sunday morning, I just decided to, to make the first one public and see what would happen. <laughs> and uh, I got lots of encouragement from friends and family and uh, people in the hobby. Uh, so I decided to go keep going with it and improve the quality. I'm actually quite happy with how... I'm having a lot of fun doing it. I'm happy with how they're coming out. Um, it doesn't take a lot of my time. The way I've set up the format, it's pretty quick to put together. Uh, it's fun to share. I like sharing my work. My other projects I shared on forums, so this is kind of just an extension of that. Uh, and I really appreciate the comments and stuff that people leave. I'm happy with the work I've done so far. There's nothing I've done that I'm disappointed in. I'm, all, I'm happy with, quite, uh, with the work I've been doing. Uh, I wished I'd had more time in the shop, but uh, it is what it is. Uh, this year, uh, I'm hoping to get, by the end of this year, starting to put the, the upper body on. Uh, so one, not really a deadline, but one thing, a goal I have, is to have it move under its own power by the uh, end of June. And by moving under my own power, I mean the frame welded together, and enough structure that I can put the suspension, running gear, and all the controls in. Uh, and the reason why I do that is our local car show, the Yarmouth Car Show, uh, is in mid-July, and I want to show it off in the show. I guess that's about it for this video. Uh, keep watching for some uh, video of the construction of these parts, uh, and thanks for watching.